Tell us about winning the OVC championship and making the playoffs last year and how that helps your team get better this season. Um, I think it helps a lot. Uh, we went into that first conference game a year ago hoping we could do certain things, and I think this year we go in knowing that we can do those things. And I think the confidence level in our team, a lot of returning players, uh, but on the same hand, the league is a returning league. Eight of nine quarterbacks back in the league, and uh, the league's going to be better than it was a year ago. We're going to have to be better to, to have a chance to win it again, in my opinion, and I'm not sure that we are better yet, um, but uh, the confidence piece is much better than it was a year ago. What can we expect from quarterback Trey Lamb and your offenses? Well, we're the, we're the, the fast pace. Um, but we're one of the few that we're doing it now. I think it's growing in our league, but uh, we, we go as fast as we can go. You've got to have a quarterback to be able to orchestrate that. And uh, to have Trey back as, the, as a three-year starter uh, has made it easier on us. I don't have to spend near as much time with him and, and uh, working with some of our other kids. But uh, Trey's the sharpest quarterback I've ever coached. I mean, he's, he's going to stay and be a GA for us when, I, when we leave. And uh, he knows our stuff so well, I just let him go. And I even let him call some plays this spring, which I don't, I'm not big on that. But, uh, but he's capable of doing that. The ghost is getting yeah. hot. He's trying to turn yeah. on. What are your general impressions of the OBC race this year? I think it will be tougher. I believe, again, that um, it's going to be hard for anybody to go undefeated. I'd be surprised if somebody does. And I think the league's better this year than it was a year ago just because of the returning quarterbacks. I've never been. This is, I don't know how many years I've been a head coach, a bunch. But this is the first time I've ever remember all but one team having their quarterback back. That's that's an un, unbelievable statistic, and I think you'll see it make a difference through the season. What do you like most about your team this year? Depth, uh, experience and depth again. We we try to play 70 guys in a game, close to it. I think we're, if we can stay healthy, we can do that again. We believe in just going as fast as we can, and hopefully we'll wear you down because we play more players. And uh, I think our players have, brought, have bought in to um, – uh, getting in great condition and, and all the things that they do to get themselves ready for a season. And I think the, the combination of the conditioning with the number of players that we play, that's our little niche. And I think we need to, to rely on that again this year is to try, try to get in those fourth quarters and be the fresher team. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? I, I think that it will be that uh, nobody's going to overlook us. So we're, 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 we're marked a little bit, and that's great. Um, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I think the second challenge will be we're not as experienced as we were. Uh, we, we had a 25 seniors a year ago, and I think nearly 20 of those had started since freshman. Uh, so we've, we've lost some experience. I think we've got good players behind them coming in. Um, we do have some experience in our starters. Our backups are not going to be as experienced, and I think that will be the big thing for us early in the season is to develop these young kids into backup roles that can uh, can go in and play 25 snaps because that's what we ask them to do. Tell us a little about your schedule and how it plays out for your team this year. It's tough. Um, we go to Oregon in the third game, come back home and immediately go to SEMO and to Murray State back-to-back. -back. We open conference play with two straight road games. That, that's I don't think anybody has done that in a while in this league. And, uh, uh, we're going to have to come out of that with at least one of those and hopefully both of them. But, uh, so we've, we're going to have to be good early, or we could take ourselves out of the race early. And, um, but I don't, there is no gimme. Not, there won't, will not be a gimme in this league this year. The last game of the year we, we won with a big score. The other eight uh, went to the uh, – the other seven went to the wire, and it was tough. So we, we, had a, we had a lot of close games. I don't see it being any different this year. Okay, thank you, Coach. Glad to do it.